Well, I found a thing online. I guess a how-to on improving the heat sink design as far as how it mounts. So there's a parts list. Basically, what you're doing is you're removing these. You're putting a um, bolt or a screw um, through you actually drill these holes out bigger the screw is going to come in from the bottom up there will be about four washers then the motherboard then a washer and then it'll thread into the heat sink. So, I need to go ahead and take all these off of the old heat sinks, clean them up, clean up the motherboard, get all this thermal paste off. I put some new thermal paste on and drill the holes in the case bigger and thread the bolts in. My bit's a little worn where it's spun so I can't read the size but I think it's 3 16 um, So I think this will be big enough. Hey, it's magnetized. So we'll drill those eight holes out to 3 16 and we'll see if that's big enough. Okay, the holes are drilled bigger. Um, the 3 16 was just a hair too small. Instead of stepping up, I guess the next step would be uh, 13 64 um, Instead of doing that, I just um, wallowed it out just a little bit with the bit, and they fit perfect. Just take the, of course it'll be going in from the back side, but let's see the holes are perfect. And I blew it out with the air compressor. Make sure there was no metal shavings left in here after drilling it out. So now we're ready to mount the uh, motherboard back in. So we'll take one screw, start it in from the back side, put four washers, you know, on each. Put all the screws in from the back side, four washers on each. Then set the motherboard in place. Then um, on the CPU, one washer. And on the GPU, two washers. I'm not sure why they say the difference. I mean, from what I can tell, it looks like they're about the same height. But evidently, the um, they don't want you to tighten down the uh, GPU as much so we'll do what's recommended okay we got the washers on the screws Let's put the motherboard in well there it is installed Let's see the screws pushing through right there and on the back side and they are secured and tightened down. So we'll put the rest of it back together and we'll see if it works. The moment of truth. We'll see if it works. I haven't put it all back together yet just to make sure that everything's okay. I've got it plugged up to the TV. Turn the power on. We get a good green light. Okay, so the heatsink mod did not fix this Xbox, so we're going to heat it up and hopefully the solder will rejoin. Now, let's see if I can put the camera somewhere where we can, where you can see. Well, I can probably hold it. Now, you want to heat it up evenly. Not 
too close. Do the whole thing at first. So it's partly back together enough to test it. Got it plugged up to the TV. Okay, got a green light. Green circles. So it is working. This is where I left off with disassembly. I've reassembled it. It goes back together just like it came apart. I've got the other pieces now, so I didn't have those when I took it apart because they were already taken off of it. So, figure out how these go back on. We can kind of figure out how to take them off. Let's see. Looks like you would probably take the front piece off first. It looks like it just pries off. It's got some little tabs. Get a screwdriver between the case right about there and just pry it off. It just snaps back on, it looks like. piece goes where. This is the top. So I've got it all back assembled. These pieces just snap on. You can pry them off the screwdriver. Get in about right here on both sides. And we'll just see how long it lasts. So, got a game in it. And it's working. I'll have to put it to the test and see how long it holds up. Hopefully it'll last as long as it did originally. Maybe with the heat sink mod it'll last longer. 